What's up? It's Jim from TechnoVault and in this quick video I'll show you how you can create punchy techno kicks, like very very good punchy techno kicks, 100% from scratch out of serum. Sounds like this or this. You can hear that this really works well in techno. So this really ties into how to create rumble kicks, which we have tutorials on as well. I'll link it right there. Anyways, let's dive right into it. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Here we go. In Serum, first of all, just load up Serum. Go to Pattern, put this on basic like analog BD Sin. This changes the wave table if we want it, and it changes the character once we're getting more into the final stage of the kick. So open up the piano roll. Let's get one on D4, because D4 is like low enough once we add the things that I want to add. So get back, put it on Pattern, loop it. We're in 150, by the way. Take down the randomized knob so the face is always at the same point, which will like save our kick from changing sounds based on like the face, because if you have a different face, yeah, whatever. Envelope two, get this down and make it like around 400 milliseconds and make it look something like this. Envelope three gets the same shape, but it, you take it to like 100 milliseconds and take it down like that. So basically these two will control the pitch of the whole kick. And the first one needs to be like longer and the second one needs to be more snappy. <laughs> envelope 2 goes through the course and envelope 3 goes through the course as well. We have this effect. Envelope 1 needs to go down so that we only have this one. Then I want to add a noise oscillator, take an attack of a kick and put it on one shot. This comes down to preference and you can literally take any kick you like. But I think 6 is nice because it's snappy. and It doesn't take away, like it doesn't really add a lot of character, it's just there to give a nice snap to the kick. Because without, with, you just need that tick in the beginning. Now, this is where you really make and break the kick. Let's add some stuff. So the first thing you wanna add is an inflator. If you don't have an inflator, you should watch Frank Paul's inflator patcher preset video. He just basically, you can download the patcher or you can just see that an inflator basically is a half sign in a wave shaper. So here's our wave shaper and that's basically our inflator. Then I add a soft clipper around this position. Then I want to add an EQ where I control the sub because this really makes a difference once we add some clipping. Then we're going to go in type, low pass and muffle the highs. This happens in front of everything. Now you want to add another soft clipper, open the post. Then you want to get Mistortion. Mistortion 2 is free, it's from Nimble Tools. You open up the hard clipper, you don't touch any other knob. And don't make it clip too much, make it clip almost like that. That's it. Now, you want to go here afterwards and add an EQ. In this EQ, boost the sub, boost the mids a little bit, and the highs where needed. The mids give a little bit of character, the highs really give it some air, I guess. But don't overdo it. You can go back and change the wavetable position because it changed the character slightly of the kick. That's way too synthy. This is a nice one. So what you can do now is go back in your piano roll and take this one and just place it on a different note and see what happens and if it gets better. Because I feel like D is too high. This is definitely too high. But B might be better. So what I do now is go into my master channel, get Edison and render this kick. Trim the noise, normalize it, drag and drop it into your playlist. And now we have this kick here playing. And then you want to make it shorter and just cut the end. So we're left with this. And you know, the till is really low, but the beginning is pretty high, as you can hear. And I don't think this will work in techno. So what you want to do instead, maybe, is just get it down a bit. Let's try it in G. Because my ears were deceiving me. Like, I thought that it sounded pretty good in B or B, but it might sound better in a lower pitch as well. So. And don't move too much of the tail, still need a little bit. It's getting there. But what we can do now, and this is like where the tutorial ends, this is all the information you need because, you know, that's the kick. But you can now go back in Serum, and you can change so much stuff in Serum to completely change the whole kick. So let's say we take the pattern and we loop this. We can now make it less clicky by changing envelopes. So for example, You can see if you make envelope two longer, get more of that. Shit. The 
As you can hear, it depends on the kick. You can really play around a long time and you can get rid of the highs. You might get like, you know, a more preferable kick. Stuff that sounds better in your ears. So in this case, we muffle the highs a little bit and we add that here again. See what happens if we, you know, cut the tail slightly. Zoom in a bit, there you go. This is a pretty good techno kick. You can always add a little bit more power to this kick by getting a soft clipper and an inflator combined. And now just play around with this one. Reintroduce some character. And clean up the kick and just change the kick. Anyways, this is a foolproof method. And every time you do this, you'll get a slightly different kick. Like for example, we had this one, and we have this one which is different, and we have this one, this one, and you always get a slightly different kick. It's just really nice, and especially if you wanted to learn how to make the top kicks, because based on the top kick, you'll start to make rumble kicks, which we have tutorials on as well. But this is a nice kick you can use it in melodic techno, hard techno, mainstream techno, driving techno, it doesn't matter. So get our free sample packs on our website, I'll link it, and also grab this template for free on our website. I hope you enjoyed it, like, comment and subscribe if you did. Hope to see you in the next video, cheers.